What I'd like to do now is I'm gonna select this left shoulder or the right wing. And let's see, I'm gonna go to skin and say mirror skin weights. Let's uh, actually select the left wing, I believe. Skin, mirror skin weights. Okay, here. Okay, so I think I can actually maybe select the full hierarchy. Let's see if I can shift select everything. Mirror skin weights and let's mirror again across the X, Y from positive to negative. That works for me because we worked on the left side of the body. And then let's just go ahead and say mirror. And now if I look at my left wing, look at my right wing, right? Those skin weights have been mirrored. They're symmetrical. So it's looking really nice because the whole model's symmetrical. Those skin weights get to be symmetrical. It's easy to, although here I'm gonna want to go in, let's go to that right knee. So we might have to adjust some things like this. I might say mirror skin weights again. So that is kind of a little bit of a, of a glitch. So let me just um, paint that in. Okay, I think that looks good. And so that's mirroring the skin weights. So the next thing I want to do to this model is kind of just test it out. And when I go to test out how the rig functions, again, I'm going to turn off this mesh, select, make, selecting the mesh, and let's just make joint select. And I'm also going to turn this off. I don't have any handle objects. Handle objects are um, just these locators. So locators are kind of, uh, they might, they're null objects and they might, um, we might build a whole like control rig and use that as the top of the control rig hierarchy. In any case, I'm going to turn that off. I want just have joints to be selected at this point. So just to make it really easy on myself. The other thing I want to make sure I'm doing is saving my scene. Right now, this is still called bird paint. Let's rename it bird rig. And let's go in and test this out. I'm going to maybe um, move this, this wing down a bit. And let's see how the skeleton uh, moves. And I think that looks really good. Like that, that shoulder is no longer affecting the body. Let's look at the head tool for a second. And yes, the eyes are not going to move with it. We'll just we'll worry about the eyes later. But the head can go up. It can go side to side. It's doing something a little bit strange here. I might want to go in and repaint those weights a little bit more. Um, I also see it has some influence here that I don't love. So let me um, go back to my paint skin weights tool really quickly for that neck joint. And let's um, get rid of some of the influence here. Aha, uh -huh. there was a little bit of influence, even though you couldn't see it. I bet if we have this color ramp turned on, right, we can see it's like all the way out there in the wings. So let's just kind of paint some of that weight off. And what's nice is if you do deform the rig a little bit, you can see how those joints are affecting different parts of the, different part of the um, skeleton or different part of the mesh. So I smooth, you see that part of that starts to kind of, you can see how it's changing the deformation of our mesh because it has a bit of, um, it has a bit of um, rotation on this joint. You can see how it's deforming the mesh. Give it some value maybe here, a little bit more. Let's go back to the head. Okay, let's also, in this case, I was kind of working on this side. So I might say mirror, mirror skin weights. Let's do it in this case from negative to positive. Let's say mirror. Ooh. Okay, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that. I think that looks okay. I don't wanna mirror it if it's in this weird position because it's not symmetrical. So it did something weird when it mirrored. Okay, so here we are. Let's go back to um, our, our bird here. We're kind of deforming this a bit. Um, let's rotate this wing. Bring it down and over a bit. Maybe this needs to go up. 
So we're just kind of testing to see, does the skin weights, right? We're just, I'm really maxing out my model. So I are maxing out my rig as I'm rotating it. You know, see those, there's a little bit of influence here. Go back, make sure my mesh is selected. Go back to this tool. There's a bit of influence here. If I turn on color ramp, although I'm not seeing it, um, we want to, so maybe I don't have the right joint selected. Let's select those wings. It's doing something here, right? This back part of the model that I don't like. Now, this is really fine, fine tuning our, our mesh. So I don't want any influence here on the model. Um, same thing here. I don't want any influence over these vertices when I'm rotating that wing. Let's make sure here too, that there's nothing going on on the body. Okay. Go back and now the beauty of this, right, is that I can just select, let me select the root joint here. This is really important tool. We can go to select hierarchy that will select everything in that hierarchy. And I'll have to like open everything up and shift select and just say select hierarchy. And then let's just put zero values. Now that brings our rig back to its T pose. Let's check out the legs here. Oh, I see it's the, this knee joint is kind of influencing this back a bit. So let's go back, fix our skin weights. Let's say replace with a value. I don't want, and let's make sure I'm on the right joint. Right knee, let's see, you can see that it has a bunch of influence over this back, which I don't want any influence on the back. So then let's go to our left knee and make sure, yep, no influence on the back of this bird or on its tail when I rotate that knee. Let's see with the foot too, because I might, you know, you typically, I might have and I might have wanted a joint. Now, now that I'm looking at this, I might have wanted a joint right here. So I can actually bring that bird's leg all the way back. So when this bird is flying, I don't think it's going to really have the absolutely correct. Because the only thing I have here maybe is this joint to rotate back. And then maybe this tail kind of move forward. I might transform, although the only thing about transforming that I can't bring it back to zero. So we don't really want to transform anything. So I feel like the feet really did want a joint here at the base of the feet. And I can either like unbind the skin and redo all of that uh, or just kind of work with it as it is. Okay, so I think the skin weights look pretty good. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to add constraints to this rig so we have controllers.